Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. If you recall, we last time... Uh, strange Parchment is written in demonic tongue. You easily translate it. Idiots, it's not the tunnel you're supposed to cave in. How are we supposed to get back to the Orcish Plaza now? Get the spare powder, powder kegs in here right now. Powder pegs. Uh, try not to blow yourselves up. How many times do I have to tell you to get a longer fuse and stay away? I think we poked our heads in here last time. Oop, that actually hurts me. Whoopsies. Uh, I think we poked our heads in here last time, but decided to not just for the sake of, like, you know, doing it this time. As she waddled through a cloud of dust and rubble, Zan noticed an already familiar presence waiting at the end of the ruined corridor. Is that the ghost girl? She ran towards it, but much to her expectations, the dark creature vanished into thin air, leaving only a puff of black smoke behind. A series of curses echoed through the plaza's caverns as Zan proceeded towards the park, her axe up and ready. How she was supposed to fight this dark thing, after all? How was she supposed to fight this dark thing, after all? Always seemed to be guided towards danger. Alas, the park greets her with a sound of restless insects. Uh, and the dark shell, what may lie ahead? I hope those are like Mondo super huge insects. Are we back here? I think that's where we are. Single apples. I think we're... Are we back? Buenos dias. <sighs> Doing my best to hamper the sudden invasion from the shadows. The ventilation shafts help me move around unseen. I've overheard the cultists getting orders to blow up and cave in the exits. They're locking down the entire stronghold, bastards. Nonetheless, I have managed to get inside the crystal shop and move all merchandise upstairs. I must delay them from getting their hands on our tech. Trash through power cores, but they heard the noise and I'd break the ladder and go. Luckily, I found a warding scroll in the shopkeeper's room. Should my sisters need to break the ward? Did we read that already? Yeah, I was in here. I guess we're getting the same area remixed. Hmm. It's only been like six maps. Maybe five. Maybe four. Um... Oh, yeah, we needed that. Right, never mind. Bread and some spring water? What is that? I guess it's just like a gutted panel. Hearing some tunes come in. Some tracks. Do you just have to tightrope that? That's kind of fun. feel like it's going to be in my best interest to be as topped up as I... Amulet of Shadows? That probably is invisibility. I know for a fact that invisibility is baked into Doom. Wow. This is a good time for the crush bow. Oh, it, it's like actually bouncing off their shields. Hold on, I want to see if I can kill myself with it. Okay, so I actually kind of can. Cool. All right, that's enough of that. Actually, this might be useful. Yeah, because it hits the shields and explodes. And it does appear to be damaging him as well. Break through. Oh boy. God. <laughs> All right, now you. Cool. A potion of healing. What is your plan, sir? So 
So that is the use of the of the thing. It can be a shield breaker. Anti-shield weapons are the kind of thing where it's like that's when you definitely like need them, you know? Sorry, I'm I'm saying nothing here. That's a not that's a nothing statement. What I'm getting at here is that like the fact that it's a weapon just for breaking shield is cool. Uh, and something that I don't think I would have like figured out if not for being presented with the the wall, you know? Stone key. Zombie noises. Oh, maybe that's coming from inside here. Okay, so we remember that we need a stone key. And somebody's throwing shit at me. South, the Great Stump. East is Reaver Headquarters. And west is the Grove Portal. Holy shit. <laughs> Sweet. Take that, sir. Cool. She must have already been damaged from the uh, uh, the explosion on the other one. I do like seeing the sprites. Auto save. Toxic toxic potions. A vine key. Okay, so we can open vine doors now. And a mortar of earth pigmente. Yeah, I kind of figured. You know, that's how they, I actually uh, uh, answer the door in real life, too. We made this well asset, and you're going to see it, damn you. I literally couldn't come out swinging harder, you know? It's a decent ladder. Ladders in, in any first-person game are, of course, like... I feel like we should even just call it the Half-Life Curse, because when I think of doing first-person ladder bullshit, I think of Half-Life. Ooh, I think she got shot in the back. Stupid. That was really stupid. Let's take a little breather here. Word. I was initially disappointed with like the, damn, with the uh, return to an earlier level, but honestly it's being handled in a pretty cool way. Like, the fact that this whole, that those whole levels were just to, uh, uh, like, get a key, essentially. You know, just to fix a door was actually something that I forgot. I mean, hence my confusion. Splorch. Okay, I think that's armor. Yep, it is. Who ah, you guys. Let's cream a few of those in there. Still coming at you. Hmm. I did like a crazy hard like endurance workout yesterday. Uh and so, like, I'm just having my arm just, like, hang over open air. Well, this is new. Oh, this is that great stunt they talked about. Yes. I'm a little fill-up. Good. But yeah, so I'm just having my, like, arm hang out over open air. 
and like not be supported by like my arm or my or the arm of my chair or my desk. And like I'm just shaking. I'm so tired. <laughs> Muscles are screaming at me. Go get them. Where did all you guys come from then? Okay, I hadn't eaten those cream fungi yet, so this must be a new area. Very new. I would have noticed you, sir, being a problematic enemy that you are. The worms. The plasma burn effects are like so solid. Okay, and then that leads here. Okay, so we've got this area, and then we've got the inside of the area. Oh man, I killed my guys. Medium armor, cool. Okay, so this goes down to here. I feel like the music is like coming on strong at this time. Splashed him. Ah, so this is a secret. So if I wanted to, I could run here and then probably, like on a, on a replay, I could probably like run straight here and just go get key items. Because I imagine that there's probably stuff down here, yeah? Come on, there we go. Uh, and then there is a roof here that I do want to kind of check out. Okay, I can just pick my way up here. Nothing, just a little platform for guys to shoot at me. Grapes. Whew. All right, I think that's everything then. Let's party on, dudes. Man, nothing like a big ass door. A lot of dead. And I didn't kill them. Potion of stone skin. Probably invulnerability or something. And there is an, uh, a health potion here. So one reason that the original Halo is so like important is that, hello, uh, there is a very, very interesting swerve uh, with the, the flood. And like, it's weird because I actually don't like the flood that much in, in Halo. But like, I will admit that the first game does not have as much going on. Sorry, I literally just took my hand off the keyboard because I wanted to itch the back of my neck. It tingles. Uh, and then when I put it back down to try to quickly attack the enemies, I did not have my wads correct. Oh, yeah. Acid potions. Oh, we now have multiple... Potion. Interesting. That's cool. Very, very interesting. Real interesting, in fact. Uh, anyway, yeah, one reason that the original Halo is so, like, important is because, like, the swerve of, like, hey, you're fighting alien guys, and it's, like, starship troopers, and then, like, oh, yeah, also there's fucking zombies in space, and that's a super scary, cool, interesting idea. The the hybridization of those and, like, the, the switch from, like, you're fighting Covenant, you're fighting Flood, so you have to deal with both of these problems now, is a really, really good piece of the gameplay loop in Halo. It's one reason why Halo's so good, because that those sorts of things... Metal and Cave Rock, a study by Earth Mother Bendy. 
Uh, the parchment appears to detail an alchemical concoction meant to prevent metal from rusting. Neat. But yeah, the, the midway swap also is a frugal thing developmentally because it means that they can like floodify prior levels and be like, hey, it's a new level now. And then like the last third of the game is the first half of the game backwards. Is this just a place to, like, stock up? I should hope not. Alright, hey. I headed out of the tree. And I think there's a thing somewhere around here. Yes. That's the vine symbol. And I didn't go in here. Because I was like... Hey, I probably won't have the key. But I, I didn't even think to check, you know? Hello, Hedden, yes. Hello, thank you. Woo! Woo! You're getting, you're getting into a fucking fight at range here. Oh, so this is the same gun, but it just really has the same sprite. So let's try this out. Oh! Okay, so it's just like a relatively straightforward uh, rocket launcher. Go to hand this. I don't want to like whittle these guys down with this because it takes. It feels like it takes so long to kill them. Although mopping up afterwards is not as terrible. On the other hand, maybe I just don't have like a like a proper gun to deal with, them, you know? This I guess it's like black vines or maybe black guts or something. But this looks like Minecraft Obsidian. I think it's even squelching under my feet. But it really looks like Minecraft Obsidian. And then there's a portal and everything. Reminds me of the, like, nether, like, the little breakthroughs of the nether that you'll see in the overworld. I actually LP'd Minecraft uh, quite a while ago. I think it was more than a year now. There you go. Thank you. Aw, oh, man. The last page of this otherwise uninteresting logbook has been written over by somebody else. The cultists somehow corrupted the portal. This black slime, what the hell is this? Back the forge, we stepped right, we stepped in right after Dura and the others, but then this flash of light, something felt so off of the portal, we woke up in the grove. Arva and what's left of me. Oh, she got like, portal cut. Splinched, yeah. Uh, the gateway closed up suddenly and sliced my like clean off. I'm done for. Arva left to search for the key and the damn thing, uh, to turn the damn thing back on, but she's been gone too long. I can only pray to Dura. Pray Dora and what's left of the squad had better luck than us. Come on, you bastards. Come and get me so I can send you back to the pits of hell. Oh, that's a shame. Mm hmm Is that correct? Is that all I need to do in here? Then let's get thee gone. Turn vine keys after use. Earth key, you say. I want to break this glass and get in. I love breaking glass. In game and IRL. That's like, that's weird. But I was literally talking like just recently, just now, about like, it was a little bit longer for me, but. I was talking about like the flood and and how like that's an important swap in in Halo. I'm like, hey, now we're doing this. Halo's development is like so troubled, and like so much stuff happened with Halo One and Halo Two. But like, it ended up so good. I really want to see what happened on it. And if you don't know, uh, Matt, Matt McMuscles runs the show called What Happened. 
it's literally just a show explaining what happened in some like some games development and like he'll do like good games too like I think he's done Metal Gear Rising Revengeance because like that game is like good like very good but he did Metroid Prime as well because those games are good but like they went through a lot of shit in development like both of those games were meant to be like entirely different games and like all kinds of shit happened to them to like hopefully ensure that they can come out. I won't say it was like a train wreck, but it was, it's quite a story. It's definitely a series worth watching. Yeah, I would love to see um, a what happened on Halo or Halo 2. Because both of those games had a lot of stuff happen to them. So I didn't look around out here more. And I do know that like now that there's a secret way to get back inside, which is interesting. Oops. Hey, I see light. And a secret. Okay. Or potentially not secret. Maybe I just missed it. So this just goes that way. I want to I want to scope out the whole zone. Can't swim up the waterfall, huh? that exam though I will say her ability to like climb out of water is pretty appreciable I don't know if she has a full-on ledge grab I haven't seen it yet because I've had to like do the little thing where you like stack a stack a block before and there will be air in here right you've had to do the thing where you stack a block in order to have her um jump properly. Oh, here we go. I feel like the air in here would very quickly get stuck. This, like, checkered floor, like, very, very much reminds me of, like, the first Deus Ex game. Or Half-Life. I feel like there's a lot of checkered floors in Half-Life. Because, like, a lot of the office blocks have that sort of floor. This is like a whole thing. This this can't be a secret then. Hey, speak of the devil. Are they drowning? That's radical. <laughs> Word, that's really cool. Hey guys. I was literally like, I want to break some glass, and what can I say? Zan delivered. Word. That was cool. I, I love whenever they're like, hey, just go. And they just give you a fight, and they're like, figure it out. Okay, so there's a way up there. Almost all of these appear to just be pictures of doors. Yeah. Okay. Okay, broken electronics. Oh, this one opens. No, I'm sorry. Oh, the rat. Auto save. Okay. Stand of spring water. Hello. The problem is that now that I've come in backwards, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Gotta watch my clearance on that. Sorry, I really just wanted to beat him to death. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. It's getting good, y'all. Oh, and this is the base. I've come in on the other side of the base, which also means that I actually cleared out some of this on my own. Uh, by shooting potions in here. Okay, and then this is where I came in. Okay, so let's look around here some more. Because I didn't, I didn't do this, and but then I went past it. Ah. Potion of greater healing. Cool. Consumed a green crisp. I just ate it? Is that right? Oh. She's on the slab and everything. I didn't even pick her up. Is this like a sacrifice room or is this like a like a like a garden variety like doctory, you know? Okay, so then that just leads through here. Oh, a note. Here's some of the new green crystal plants we've grown. Not only will they heal and soothe any wound, but even extend the patient's vitality. Should they not find themselves in a grave condition, bear in mind not to remove the plant from its soil, or the crystal will harden and become inedible. Send in more crystals as we grow them. The spell we use is yet to be perfected by the Bendy. Oh, so it, it's a health upgrade. Cool. I like that. I don't know if I actually got the health upgrade, but... Yeah, I think I ate it, like, second. But you can probably beat this game, like, without any health upgrades at all, right? Turn the auxiliary power on before you shut down the generator for any maintenance work. I don't want to hear any more complaints from the archive curators getting stuck in their offices because the door stopped working. Talk to one of the Earth Mothers to let you into the portal cave uh, until we get one of our own vine keys. This is the boss. Now, you could argue that, oh, you're in different areas of a base. In the original Doom, you can argue, oh, you're going to different areas of a base. So obviously they would all have their own, like, you know, key cards. I think she's trying to block this damage, this poison damage. But she can't do that, so she's, like, holding her shield up. Yeah, both of them are doing it now. Good trade. Dude, the way that, like, the blood splatters. Oh, man. That good stuff. Red blood. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is a map, isn't it? I thought they were just playing uh, 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 a game. Man, this game keeps getting cooler. Where's the gutted? Oh, goblin girl. Oh, sorry, excuse me, man. Ah, oh, there's just some guys up here. Okay. Now that these hanging cyan crystals have been destroyed, the nature's grasp will begin to weaken. I assume this is the cultists writing it. At least of my conclusions based on whatever search are correct. If so, expect the portal's power source to help expand the corruption with one less obstacle in its wake. Ah, corruption is even fighting nature, like, actively. However, we'll have to deal with the half-blood first. Send the cultists are in a position right before the massive orc tree. As for the goblins, I'll send a handful of crawlers after them. Right after I feed the fools that fail to slay these pesky green ones. Feed them the fools. Uh... Blocking the way to the northern wing did nothing but delay us. They should have realized you can't trap them in a place sprawling with ventilation shafts. Damn right. Half-Life was legitimately so good, I feel like I might want to play it again. I love Half-Life, though, so... Can't trust me on something like that. Anyone else? Anyone else? Nope. Oh, is this the other side of the, of the thing that they try to block? That's kind of funny. Kick the head. Okay, cool. Doing good. Feeling good. All right. I'm actively using a guide now, and I was like, all right, where am I going? Well, oops. 
What button is it? Z. Yeah. Sorry. Minor brain part. A better editor would a a better let's play would have cut it out. Um, I was supposed to have picked up the stone key and I didn't really see it in my list here, so I might have just ran past it. What is this thing? Uh the old save bugs. Come on. That's invulnerability. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense as to why I only have one as well. Okay. So that's the way up and out. Hmm. I've gone in a circle again. Her body get mashed up by the door? That's gnarly. Is it in here? Because there was a little side hallway that went like up. Oh. Oh, that's a reflection. I was like, is the floor translucent? No, that's a reflection. That's really solid. Good coding. I can't imagine what it would take to, to get that running properly. Doom isn't particularly known for its graphical quality, only for its uh, resolute style. Okay, I just went back to that room that the stone key's supposed to be in and double checked, and there is no stone key. Oh, hello guys. Pardon me, ladies. This weapon is like consistently useful as a shield breaker in both of its things. So there was the thing around here that was like a tower and it was a um, stone key door. Could not tell you where. I have a map though. I was actually considering what it would take for me to get really good at a uh, uh, boomer shooters. Because, like, I feel like so many of the things in here are a skill set that I don't have. And the other problem is that, like, because I'm talking while playing, I, I do things that I would, that would, like, complete a, a, a circle in a normal game, but actually just lead me in circles and don't, like, get anything done in a boomer shooter. Like, I don't know if it's a problem specific to me or the genre or what, but... It just happens sometimes, you know? I actually mentioned that I had a map as well, and I did not hit the map button. Let's oh, tap right. Okay. The, the map overlay is also impressive. I don't know if that's uh, that's probably actually like semi-standard on uh, on some uh, Doom. Here we go. Hey, go to hell. That's probably one of those things that's like semi-standard for like some wads or map hacks. Uh, but I've not seen it before, but that makes sense as like a useful thing to just have in Doom, you know? Yeah, there we go. So why don't I just... Are all these low? Can you block that? Oh wow, that's really good. That fire tech is really, really simple, but really solid. Like the fact that it just leaves little 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 flamelings on the floor.
whoop. It leaves little flamelings on the floor, and then it like they they each have their own animation as they like die out. Well, go to hell, guys. Really? Well. hear him taking damage. So we solved that problem at least. What hit me? Okay. I think that's fine. Oop. nobody the book of earth a quest item and up here is uh, some smoked ham <laughs> all right cool all right sorry I just went to the bathroom uh, now we're returning to the tree Oh, hey guys. Pardon me one second. Thank you. Hmm. No, it's not this way. Sorry, I'm like dual focusing my eyes right now. What the hell are you doing here? What is this place again? Oh yeah, just this little like bungalow. I've had this key on me since yesterday. I'm running late for the council. Can you return to the portal cave for me? If anyone scolds you, tell her it's my fault and I apologize. Nothing like saying, I, I apologize to show that you don't mean an apology. Tell her I apologize, no less. Well, I'm back here, damn it. Okay, maybe I go this way? No, that leads me to the entrance. That leads me back to here. Damn. I'm bad at reading this map. Hmm. Oh, there's a little thing, there's a little through here. Yeah. And of course there's you guys. Excuse me, ladies. Man, you gotta really ensure that you hit that minimum safe distance with this thing. Yep. Cool. This looks. No. Ooh. Ooh, through that. Oh. That guy. Oh, it's those green crystals. Okay, so I need to be at full health to, to fucking take advantage of that. And then it boosts me to 40. Cool. I like that. I'm gonna recheck what I'm doing. Okay. Lorch. Really nice that I get to use these like 
splatter effects. Because I talked about how, like, you get to see a lot of... Oh, damn, there's a potion here. I saved mine. Oh, well. Um, you get to see a lot of, like, really, really solid, like, plasma burn on the wall behind you. And, like, those are all really cool looking. But now I'm actually using my own. I like that. I like it a lot. Um... I, oh, would a, would a doom like that is just Splatoon be cool? Oh, cool! And I hadn't picked that up. Nice. I'm pretty stacked up then here. Yeah, I really should have come in and gotten these potions. I should have remembered that they were here. Is the is the big thing? Okay, this is another pillar of the same type. Yeah. All right. Game saved. Thank you. Auto save. And there's a library. Anybody else? I should save this. I'm, I'm going a little too ham with this. Well, never mind. Learning to uh, stick by my by my actions a little more in in uh, boomer shooters. When I first played through Doom, I would like constantly, constantly save scum. But like they give you all of this health for this reason, you know. No secrets along the wall. Who was that? Oh, you guys. Just some guys. Fine by me. Fine by me. My axe. There we go. Oh, more acid potions. Radical. Love building things in a big ass tree. Oh, and a potion miner here. Cool. A ladder? Is that right? Is that supposed to be there? Hmm. There's something that I always liked in Marathon was, um, like, how you could just kind of beat your head against the game and like just try everything on everything we dealt with the last intruder she's managed to get all the way to the second floor but she couldn't get past the root gate still neither can we, we tried everything but the roots simply regenerated faster than we can damage them they must we must know they're use. we know they're using the tablets to recite a spell that grants them passage but the bitch guarding the library is hidden the tablet before we got here whatever lies on the floor above it it has the valuables to it has it must be valuable to them uh, perhaps it's the very key to the portal controls. Nobody has found it, right? We need to find the damn, the darned tablet, and I need aid. The Greenskin couldn't have had much time to hide the tablet after hearing us warp and commence the attack, so I assume it's on this floor somewhere. I've had the cult to search the place, but to no avail. I need you to send more thralls so we can cover more ground. Imagine how pleased the Mistress Nithriel? Huh. Uh, Nithriel will be to here we have gotten the portal running. Trust me, that tablet must be here. Oh, my head went through the chandelier. I don't know if that's technically called a chandelier, but... Maybe it's a inventory item I have to use. Hmm. Cause I, I see little marks here indicating that maybe this like goes somewhere. Oh duh. Well and it does even. Box of acid acid potions. Okay, so I look for more books like that then, huh? Hmm, 
interesting. Classic, you know, as well. It's pretty classic. I don't see any here, I don't think. I guess I could also look for... Like... Things that jut on the wall. Like the little... The little, like, guidelines that showed me that... That was a thing that could go up and down. Let me check, actually. Uh, I think the thing that I need is in there. Because it'll... The, uh, the guide says that it'll uh, remove some vines for me. We've got a lot of vines. Okay, so that's that way. So I came right up here. Are these the vines? Oh, they are. This is new. Okay, cool. Save my game here. I will say the 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 hitching in the really really long save times is a downside. I would love to see if that gets patched, but considering that this is a like a GZ Doom game, I know I've talked about this before, but considering that that's the case, like I don't know if it's patchable. So I just picked up the something key and a green crystal. So do those just buff me above my health in like a big way, or? Is it a permanent heal increase? Because that would be cool. Alright, so I checked. This is just a stock up room, which is cool. Which of course means that guys will have spawned downstairs. It is the law. Sometimes I find it hard to get out of rooms. Um. Oh, hey guys. Wow, hey guys. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. Holy shit. I just mulched several. Wow, there's more. The AI is not that smart. I did see them getting hung up on walls there. I can take this opportunity to reload myself. Hello? Okay. Or maybe this is the time for this. Okay, so I think I can like weave out when they go to attack. Maybe not like that. Maybe not like that. But I can theoretically do it. Let's get something loud. Perfect. You love to see it. Is he throwing it like like Slim Shady is in that one like internet meme? You know? He's like, whoa. With an E. Whoa with an E. Um You know? I don't know if this game is old enough to have like hit upon that internet meme, but I think of the edit of like Scout doing it and he's like, whoa, Kleba be upon ya. Dumbass. That's my scout, thank you. Um And like the the knife is just leaving his hand, and it looks really cool. Okay, downstairs we go. A lot more guys. Oh my god. God, firing this thing and running at full tilt is so dangerous. And then I just gotta pick you up for this. Thank you. And then I guess we'll clean up. That looks like everyone. I think I hear something, but that looks like everyone. No, that's a tree. Okay, cool. Save here. This difficulty has been pretty good. Um, I could probably manage a higher one, but I don't know if I'd want to let's play on that difficulty. Just because, like, you know? Oh, wait. The portal is this way. 
of those things. Okay, Portal. Yeah, it's definitely squelching under my feet. Nasty. And then, this was the Earth Key, yeah? Push the button. Yep. Something big oncoming. Let's do it for my sisters. Yeah, it's definitely squelching. And the music is cut out too. Now bring on that shitty rock music. The shittier the better. This is not a joke. It needs to suck. How funny would it be if it was just that guy? Yeah, give me that butt rock. This is what my, like, parents think I listen to, you know? Just somebody just chugging along at a, at a, at a guitar with a shitload of overdrive on it. I feel like I should have like a fan like blowing my hair back in order to increase the feeling of going really fucking fast. What happened? <sighs> Let's save out here, I guess. Of course, I didn't reload my stuff, but I can do that. I can do it. One of these guys shows up around here. Squelching a little. Boy, this takes a while. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Ladies, can you please? I want to have a cool fighting game with you, I promise. But I'm currently just in the middle of a whole bunch of stuff. So what happened to me? I got like... Oh, I'm being telefrag. That's what's happening. Like there wasn't a forge elemental. I turn around and there was one. Of course. I mean, the fact that that can happen to me is a serious problem. Yeah, I should definitely have my, my hair blowing backwards. I, I don't know if you guys uh, watched my LP of Strength, which is a very, very good game. Strafe is an excellent game. Uh, but it's, a, it's another, like boomer shooter, but it's also a roguelike, and it's like, oh my god, Strafe is so cool. Strafe feels so good to play. But anyway, Strafe has these, like, really good, uh, like, shitty 1990s style, like, PC, like, whoa, extreme graphics, like, advertisements. Like, that's what I think I, that's what I want. How far can you axe in the frozen time? Okay, that cleared some guys out, but I really didn't get what I wanted, which was to, like, sneak in and get the hell. Oh boy. Oh god. That collar probably summons a dog, right? I 
remember one point in the quick expansion, I was very confused that they had actually like let me summon a guy. Whoa! I thought it was going to kick me out, and so I was like, oh, quick, shoot. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. All right, now let's clean up with uh, my, little, my little fixer here. The static, like, obviously it's just static in the portal. So, yeah, it looks like it just swept through them all and, and just turned on and killed them. That's gnarly. Uh, Wow. Obviously, the static is just, like, static, and that's why why it looks like that. But also, this is just, like, what the portals in Quake, uh, Quake 1 look like. That's cool. I like that. Um, wow. I look at this, and I say, wow, I'm certainly knee-deep in the dead. And then, I and then I laugh to myself. Um, holy shit. That was a, that was a pretty, that was an okay one. I feel like it didn't like escalate the, the really, really huge like onslaught. And then, you know, you just survive for as long as you can and kill as much as you can. And then the, the big wave comes through and just sweeps through them all. That's pretty neat. I do like that. Um, but for the most of it, this is just, and I guess maybe it's because we're returning to an older, older level, but like, this is just like, Hey, you know? But yeah, that'll do for this episode of Head and Blood Right. I'll head through the portal next time because I've been... It's way more convenient for me to end these episodes before I start the next one and then start the next episode by ending the last chapter and then starting the next one because, like, you roll right into it. It doesn't go to, like, an upgrade screen or anything like that in between them. Um, which is only a mark against this game if you're Let's Playing it uh, because this game is obviously very good. And it's really solid if you are just playing it because, obviously, you're like, yeah, I'll just save whenever and just roll right into the next one and stop when i'm done um but yeah that's head and blood uh that's head and blood right everyone uh i hope you all had a good day i hope you had a good time thank you for coming by i've been alfred have a nice day thank you